final account of cooperative housing society multiple choice questions first any income arising from investment of an earmarked fund will be credited to earmarked fund in the balance sheet corpus fund in the balance sheet income and expenditure account receipt and payment account and the correct answer is earmarked fund in the balance sheet a cooperative society operating in maharashtra gujarat and delhi has to follow the a cooperative society act of maharashtra if its head office is in maharashtra b cooperative society act of gujarat if its head office is in gujarat c cooperative society act of delhi if its head office is in delhi d multi state cooperative societies act 2002 and the correct answer is d multi state cooperative society act 2002 third capital of a cooperative society is in the form of a share capital b earmarked fund c corpus fund d none of the above and the correct answer is a share capital fourth working capital of a society as defined under the maharashtra cooperative societies act includes a paid up share capital b funds built up out of profits c money raised by borrowings d all of the above and the correct answer is d all of the above fifth under the maharashtra cooperative societies act audit of cooperative society can be conducted by a a chartered accountant b a person who holds a government diploma in cooperative accounts and audit c a person who has served as an auditor in the cooperative department of the state government d any of the above and the correct answer is d any of the above sixth under the maharashtra cooperative society act the term member includes in addition to a person duly admitted as a member a only an active member b only an associate member c only a nominal member d all of the above and the correct answer is d all of the above seven the whole of the day to day management of cooperative society west in a the general body b the managing committee c the secretary d the chairman and the correct answer is the management committee eight under the maharashtra cooperative society act a society must prepare the following financial statement for an accounting year a profit and loss account and balance sheet b receipt and payment account income and expenditure account balance sheet c income and expenditure account balance sheet cash flow statement d none of the above and the correct answer is b receipt and payment account income and expenditure account balance sheet ninth under the maharashtra cooperative society act a society must prepare the profit and loss account and the balance sheet for an accounting year a as per schedule 6 b in form m c in form n d none of the above and the correct answer is c in form n 10th in this case the members are the owners of the property a tenant co-partnership societies b house mortgage societies c tenant ownership societies d house construction societies and the correct answer is c tenant ownership societies 11 in the case of such societies the land and building do not appear in the balance sheet a tenant co partnership societies b house mortgage societies c tenant ownership societies d house construction societies 
And the correct answer is C, tenant ownership societies. 12. In the case of such societies, society as a whole is the owner of the property. A. Tenant co-partnership societies. B. House mortgage societies. C. Tenant ownership societies. D. House construction societies. And the correct answer is C. Tenant ownership societies. 13. Contribution towards the sinking fund. A. 25% of the net profit each year. B. Rupees 36 per member per year. C. One fourth percent of the cost of the flat per annum from each member. D. Rupee one per member. And the correct answer is C. One four percent of the cost of the flat per annum from each year. 14. Value of share of each member in capital of the society. A. Rupees 250. B. Rupees 300. C. Rupees 1500. D. Rupees 3000. And the correct answer is A. Rupees 250. 15. Non occupancy charges. A. Rupee 1 per member. B. At 10% of service charges. C. Rupees 250. D. Rupees 36 per member per year. And the correct answer is Rupee at 10% of service charges. 16. Audit charges. A. Rupee 1 per member. B. At 10% of service charges. C. Rupees 250. D. Rupees 36 per member per year. And the correct answer is D. Rupees 36 per member per year. 17. Rupees 250. A. Maximum amount of cash balance. B. Audit charges per member. C. Share of each member in capital of the society. D. Maximum non-occupancy charges. And the correct answer is C. Share of each member in capital of the society. 18. By law number 67. A. Composition of the charges of the society. B. Breakup of service charges of the society. C. Sharing of the society charges by the members. D. Parking charges. And the correct answer is A. Composition of the charges of the society. 19. By law number 68. A. Composition of the charges of the society. B. Breakup of service charges of the society. C. Sharing of the society charges by the members. D. Parking charges. And the correct answer is B. Breakup of service charges of the society. 20. By law number 69. A. Sharing of the society charges by the members. B. Parking charges. C. Interest on delayed payment of charges. D. Non-occupancy charges. And the correct answer is A. Sharing of the society charges by the members. 21st. Bylaw number 84. A. Breakup of service charges of the society. B. Sharing of the society charges by the members. C. Parking charges. D. Interest on delayed payment of charges. And the correct answer is C. Parking charges. 22nd. Bylaw number 72. A. Interest on delayed payment of charges. B. Non occupancy charges. C. Payment of society charges. D. Review of case in default of payment. And the correct answer is A. Interest on delayed payment of charges. 23rd. Interest on the default charges. A. Bylaw number 70. B. Bylaw number 71. C. Bylaw number 72. D. Bylaw number 142. And the correct answer is C. Bylaw number 72. 24th. Books, records, and registers. A. Bylaw number 142. B. Bylaw number 145. C. Bylaw number 146. D. Bylaw number 147. And the correct answer is A. Bylaw number 142. 25th. Maximum cash balance. A. Bylaw number 142. B. Bylaw number 145. C. Bylaw number 146. D. Bylaw number 147. And the correct answer is B. Bylaw number 145. 26. Check payments. A. Bylaw number 142. B. Bylaw number 145. 
C. Boiler number 146. D. Boiler number 147. And the correct answer is C. Boiler number 146. 27. Final accounts. A. Boiler number 142. B. Boiler number 145. C. Boiler number 146. D. Boiler number 147. And the correct answer is D. Boiler number 147. 28. A cooperative housing society has 15 members. All payments in excess of the following limits shall be made by means of crossed account pay check. A. Rupees 1500. B. Rupees 3000. C. Rupees 4500. D. Rupees 5000. And the correct answer is A. Rupees 1500. 29. A cooperative housing society has 45 members. All payment in excess of the following limit shall be made by means of crossed account pay check. A. Rupees 1500. B. Rupees 3000. C. Rupees 4500. D. Rupees 5000. And the correct answer is B. Rupees 3000. 30. A cooperative housing society has 51 members. All payments in excess of the following limits shall be made by means of crossed account pay check. A. Rupees 1500. B. Rupees 3000. C. Rupees 4500. D. 5000. And the correct answer is C. Rupees 4500. 30. Online lectures live on www dot tripathi online educate dot com for more details whatsapp or miss call on nine eight one nine seven zero eight one six five thank you